How's it going everybody? Back with another video today. Um, the weather's changing up here in Wisconsin. It's getting a lot cooler. Um, like today's like a high at 34, low at 25, about the same tomorrow. So it's got me getting my ice fishing stuff out, getting everything together. Um, there should be ice before too long. So I uh, left, was it two weeks ago, um, I bought some pre-mixed gas and put it in my Z71 auger and started it up and every time I hit the throttle there was a loud rattle sounded like an old diesel diesel tractor running well about 10-15 seconds of being off the throttle and just letting it idle the rattle would go away well I didn't know what to think of that my dad's pretty good with small engine stuff I had him look at it he couldn't figure anything out um, it also had a gas leak so I just took it to a small engine shop about 20 minutes south of where I live and they obviously you know could figure out the gas leak right away but the rattle they said that they took a small piece of heat shield out of the muffler and um, they removed that and then the rattle wouldn't go away and the only thing they could figure was the crank or the bearings were going out in the engine I'm like well crap can you fix it and they said no they don't sell parts for something like that and they asked right away if I wanted to sell it well like I would think you'd be able to get parts and I don't want to sell it you know, it kind of made me think maybe they were trying to gain a quick profit on me maybe it's something they could fix and they could just sell it quick for you know a profit so no I don't want to sell it um, just fix the gas leak and I'll take it back it's been two weeks I still haven't got it back I called um, Artisan and Cumberland, Wisconsin, they're the, you know, they do Eskimos there, and I told them about it right away, they said, bearings are going out of your engine. I said, well, will it be covered by the warranty? I didn't know how long of a warranty I had. Um, it's a four-year-old auger, I paid 450, 460 bucks for it. And they said, no, it's only a two-year warranty, so it can't be covered by the warranty. Well, surprise, surprise. Every auger they sell now, all the new ones, are five year warranty, but of course mine's only two. So I said, well, is there any parts I can get? Can you fix it? And they said, no, there's no parts you can get, and no, we can't fix it. The only thing you can do is buy a new engine or a power head. Power head's like $380, and the engine's like $211. Like, well, that's kind of crappy. You know, I paid $450, $460 for an auger four years ago and it's already going to be garbage um, like well the best we can do is like 179 bucks so I might might have to buy the engine or I might just go with a new auger you know I really like Eskimo and stuff and I wanna you know I, well, I buy all their stuff anyhow you know I got shacks I've got chairs I've got chippers I've got multiple augers over the years um got a lot of stuff by eskimo i even got you know sweatshirts and they're not going to help me out so kind of leaves a sour taste in my mouth i've got issues with these two strokes every single year they say you should drain all your gas out drain the gas to summarize it drain your gas and then run the motor until it runs out of gas and store it that way well i do that then i got gas leaks Things dry up, the grommet shrinks on the tank, gas leaks. Well, I've heard also you're supposed to leave gas in there and mix like sea foam and stuff with it. Well, if I even mix sea foam or AMS oil or anything with it, then I got carb issues every single year. Never a fail. I've always got issues. So, like, well, maybe I don't need to go and go crazy and just buy an, an auger just yet. I got the Z51 sitting here. That's a good auger. Like, you know, maybe I'll just be able to use that this year. It's not what I want to use, but maybe that's what I'll use. I won't go buy a new one. Well, I'm going to fire up the Z Z51. And this rubber grommet right here. Right there. That thing's spraying gas out everywhere. As soon as I hit the throttle, spraying gas out. Well, that's because I left no gas in it, I suppose. So it's either replace a grommet or replace a carburetor every year is what seems to be the answer. Or, 
you know, that bearing going out of the Z71, that would tell me that it's a poor mixture of gas. And I buy, I've been buying this, these pre-mixed cans. 50 to 1, that's what Eskimo calls for. 92 octane, no ethanol. You know, it's higher octane what you get out of the pumps. So, I've been buying this. Tell me, it's not the right mixture. I don't know if the oil settles to the bottom or something stupid, but if that's the case, they shouldn't be selling it. I don't know. And before that, I mixed my own gas, and I know I did it properly, so... I don't know what to say. Um, pretty unfortunate that a guy can spend that much money on an ice auger and have it crap out in four years. Well, this one, you know, it's just going to be routine maintenance every year with a two-stroke, I guess, that you have to buy gas lines or grommets or clean the carb or buy a new carb. These plastic carburetors are just throwaways anyway, so you might as well buy a dozen of them if you're going to have your auger for 12 years. So, anyhow, I kind of want to go to a propane. I'm pretty interested in the Eskimos' new line of uh, rocket augers. They got that... Um, Two stroke 33cc, and then they got the propane 40cc. They're light and got a new transmission, supposed to cut really fast. Uh, even the 33cc, they're supposed to say cuts just as fast as the Z71, but I don't know, it's kind of leaving a sour taste in my mouth. Maybe I'll go to Jiffy, maybe I'll go to Strike Master. You know, I've been pretty good to that company, and the augers haven't been good to me in the last few years. I really like the products when they run good but every year I'm pumping money into them to keep them running it's pretty crappy you know two years ago I had that Z71 up there the thing was two years old I had to get a new carb I had to get it or I had to get it clean they put a new carb on it for me well luckily it was under warranty you know that but worst case scenario that would have cost me 20 bucks this is a 450 460 dollar bill thrown in the garbage can after four years so I would like to buy that propane, but that's five hundred dollars. You know, it's like I think with the eight inch, it was like four hundred seventy nine dollars, cheap as you could find it online. So I don't know. Maybe I'll go Jiffy. Maybe I'll go Strike Master. Um, maybe I'll go something battery operated. You know, less maintenance. But I don't really want anything battery operated either. But I don't know. That's that's my situation, anyways. Um, let me know anyhow if, uh, well, once stores start getting um, their ice fishing equipment out, I haven't seen any stores around here getting any ice fishing equipment out yet. I haven't been to like the big outdoor stores or anything, but like Walmart, Farm and Fleet, nothing like that. I've seen with um, their ice fishing equipment out. I'm, I got to buy some line for some of my tip ups. I don't replace my line every year because they just don't need it. But a few of them I'm going to do this year, and I'm going to do some videos on how to rig some up for pike. And then I'm going to rig some up for walleyes. I'm going to show you how I do it. I think it's pretty common what I do. But I'm going to show that. Um, I'm going to do those videos, and let me know down below if you guys are getting your stuff out and getting ready. Um, ice really could be here at any time, which is crazy because it's not even November yet. But if the weather keeps up, it, sooner than later. Um, let me know down below if you're getting your stuff out, if you're getting excited for ice, when you think ice is coming. And if you haven't yet, subscribe, um, leave a like on the video, and we'll talk to you next time.